And before we begin today's video, I first must buy back my Zerite crossbow. This cost about 445 mil, but as you can see, it's going to go along great with my full Missouri, as well as the Pagasian boots, the Twisted Buckler, and the Light Bearer. Now that we're equipped and we're ready to go, let's teleport to Trollheim and start today's video. Today I bring you guys loot from 30 hours of Nex, and this is all going to be done in the free-for-all worlds. As you can see the gear on screen here, we're going to be using Ruby Bolts Enchanted the whole entire time. We're starting with 5,000. And with the Archaeus Spellbook, we're going to be resurrecting Thralls the whole entire 30 hour as well. So let's go ahead and go to world 505. The starting KC is 1,500. And here's my starting collection log. You guys might remember from Loot from 1,000 next, we did get the Zerite Vambraces around 1,300 KC. So the goal for this video is to increase my kill count and hopefully once again hit any rare drop. Preferably Torva, but I'll take anything. And a a little bit of an example kill on screen for you guys here. This is actually the first kill of the video, so I always like to record the first kill fully so you guys get a, you know, simple idea of what I'll be doing for this 30 hour. As you can see, when you're massing next, there's usually anywhere from 30 to 60 people in the room. I would say at the earliest time, like 4 a.m. EST, there was probably like 25 to 30 people, so that would be the deadest hour, but for the most part, there's a lot of people doing this these days, definitely more than I remember, and a kill uh, goes by in no time time. For example, this one was a minute and 35 seconds, which is actually a little longer than the average kills. Before we continue on with today's video, though, this video is brought to you by Royal Match. Royal Match is a match three puzzle game in which you can help King Robert build and renovate his castle. Royal Match also has endless variety featuring unique events and different ways to progress. It's the perfect game to compete with your friends all while being on the same team so that you can check on each other's progress and one up another. And one thing that I love about Royal Match is that it is ad free. No advertisements equals no distractions. You can just sit back, relax, and play. On top of it being ad free, it's completely free to play and you don't even need internet to play it. So what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description below or scan the QR code on screen here and get started right away. And a huge thank you to Royal Match for sponsoring today's video. All right, let's get back into it. So ladies and gentlemen, it's 2024, a new year which means a lot more new videos for you guys. Now, I know what you're thinking, Mr. No Sleep Next is not new. You've done it before. Uh, and that's a great point. You, you'd be absolutely right to say that. But what can I say? I'm doing it again. You know, I absolutely love Next. I mean, you know, look at me getting MVP in this fight. All the big bones that you get from MVP, we'll be stacking those throughout the video. And one thing that I wanted to do this time around is that anytime anyone gets a drop, I want to put their kill count on the screen for you guys so you can see how many Next they killed to earn that drop. Looks like 2000 700 necks were killed for those Zarite Vambraces, and who knows if it's a duplicate, who knows if it's his first item ever, but it's an item nonetheless. Alongside the big bones that I'll be stacking up in this video, I'll also be stacking up the Elite Clue Scrolls, getting our first casket here, bringing back some memories of that hard clue video we did not too long ago. But nevertheless, we're going to make over 100 mil in this video, hopefully not lose 100 mil, so let's keep going. We have a nice drop here, one of the ones that I would personally love to get, the Horn coming in 4,154 KC from that person but to my surprise they were combat 103 so that was probably their first drop and well deserved it was and a nice little milestone there 100 kills into the video so far 1600 KC overall now I will say this guy almost got me there with his uh, tour of a plate legs message but unfortunately it wasn't real we did get some ecumenical key shards though which you only get from next and it's really useful if you stack up 50 of them to combine and make your own ecumenical key. When you do take a break and do elite clue scrolls here, you do have to leave the area so all of your kill count does reset, but for the most part, if you want to camp this area and never leave and never do your elite clues, then you never have to get kill count because uh, as you're in the room, your ancient kill count will just continue to grow and grow. And we have some more Zerite Vambraces. 66 kill count coming in from Yucca Uchiha. That's a fun name to say. Congratulations on the Vambraces. I wouldn't really mind getting a second pair of Zerite Vambraces. And it amazes me to see that this guy here actually had 14,000 kill count as he receives that horn drop. Just amazing to see someone with 60 kills get a drop and then, you know, 14,000 kills another drop. I couldn't imagine killing Nex over 10,000 times, let alone 14,000. But I will say, if you're new and you're brand new to Nex coming here to the FFA worlds, you never know what can happen. I've seen it so many times where people below 100 KC receive a life-changing drop. And it's not just below 100 KC. It can be anywhere from, you know, 200 
600 up to 900 even a little bit over a thousand so yeah it's really cool when you're brand new and fresh here you never know what can happen nice average kill count of 563 receiving those van braces and yeah i really like showing the number to you guys just so you know that you know maybe you can compare your own next kill count to the person who just received an item and you might be one step closer to receiving one yourself a lot of you guys were making me laugh at the next ffa worlds throughout the last couple of weeks uh, some of you said that you came to next because of seeing one of my videos and you made over a bill some of you told me you came there because of one of my videos and you went dry 3k so you know it all depends on how lucky you are uh, that guy did receive a horn though close to 5k kc and after he received it i died so i had to make my way back there i do apologize that this video took two weeks to complete uh usually 30 hour videos do not take that long as we are now 10 hours into today's 30 hour but i was just doing so much more on my main account than just next uh throughout the last month i'd say and if you're curious as to like what i was up to it was just a lot of skilling and i figured i would make a small little compilation of it uh for the very end of the video so stick around for that if you're interested in what i do when i'm not pbming but yeah i've just really been enjoying the game lately on both of my accounts and uh yeah this one took a little bit longer than usual well we just saw a torva full helm that guy had i think uh, 700 kill count and just a few kills later ladies and gentlemen torva plate legs this guy 219 kc what a huge game changer this guy was flipping out and who can blame him only it was a duplicate for him so yeah i mean what the heck you know where's my tour for plate legs i'll take them. and another nice milestone 300 kills into today's video we're receiving a few mvps here and there i did notice uh, quite a few players were receiving mvp multiple times in a row they just uh, they're just that good what can i say but here we have schmidt 0121 5400 kc very respectable receiving a torva plate body me not so much i have a couple of elite clue scrolls in the bank though but uh, one that i still need to do kind of holding off on that one i just hated leaving this room uh there's one elite clue scroll step that i can't do because i i don't have a pyromancer garb i know i'm so bad at the game no pyromancer no inferno okay another kill coming up and getting some good luck wishes from sears himself the youtuber of uh, a couple years back ran into all sorts of people at Nex uh, during the course of the last couple weeks and it's a pretty positive environment you know a lot of nice people here a lot of helpful people uh, some people that just come here to do uh, combat achievements I believe they have to cough on people or something I hear if you bring a Slayer helmet it does help with the coughs and all these people getting drops you know this guy here 3-4 uh, interesting name he got an ancient hilt something that I rarely see at Nex it is the cheapest of the items but it's still good for the collection log and you know it's a little nice chunk of change so I hope I don't get it but congrats to him but anyway we we are moving on here 1950 kc up now to 2000 so we are 500 kills into the video and like i was saying great community here always love it uh great time i think out of like the last two weeks of logging in here uh somewhat daily it only got weird here once which you know it's pretty good and by weird i mean like guardians of the rift weird winter top weird but other than that very very friendly community here love doing ffa next love shooting the zerite crossbow seeing the 1100 xp drop be uh, because of the special attack of course you got to have that xerite crossbow but if you don't you know acb works here full crystal works here there was even a guy using a tumic and shadow probably a little questionable considering he was using a magic cape and serpentine you know but who cares it's still you can use anything you want here really look at this guy here gino grinding his way wow look at that username elon muspa that's pretty funny but anyway this guy torva play body 96 range 1300 kc this man grinded and grinded with all odds against him and he received a tour of a plate body it's absolutely insane what you can see happen at next we now have 10 hours left of the video rune sword drop you know it's gonna happen eventually but it only happened once throughout this whole grind so it's really not too bad go ahead and put that in the bank and as i return i did receive mvp for this kill and unfortunately the tour of a full helm was not mine 80 kc goosaft did receive it definitely pronounced that name wrong but what do you guys expect continuing on though with less than 10 hours to go no luck yet mr breccia no luck yet we hope to see it soon though if we don't get an item this is not gonna be the greatest price check xeride van braces 192 kc coming from bags of x 
TC. I hope uh, that uh, doesn't demonetize me there. But anyway, following that, a few kills later, actually, more Van Braces. 62 kill count from this guy, Timbos and Jibbos. So well done to him. And as you can see here, next is packed. 60 people are doing it. Just depends on the time of day, really. But it is very popular to be doing this. Everyone here is a gambler, such as myself, gambling on themselves to get a drop. It's very astronomical odds when there's especially 60 people in here. But you never know, right? You never know. And that's what people love about this. I mean, just the hunt, the gamble, the struggle. There we have half a life, 848 KC, Torva Fulhelm. Congratulations to him. Where's my drop, guys? I'm getting impatient. Look at that ancient KC, 472 on my screen. Another early drop obtainer, Horn at 170. Not bad at all. Well, I caught an eclectic impling and I got a medium clue from it. So I did that and I did the elite. So we'll put those caskets in the bank as we use 50 ecumenical key shards to create an ecumenical key and make our way back to next. You know, a lot of you guys always say, Mr. No Sleep, why do you only do FFAs? Why not do small teams? You know, three-man, four-man teams. Well, I'll get to that question in a second. But first, we have our first and only next pet showing of the video. 700 KC from this guy. Congratulations to him. Five hours left to go, ladies and gentlemen. But to answer that question, guys, I've honestly, I've been off the grid for at least the last... I don't even know, two years? I don't, I'm not in a clan chat. You'll never see my private chat on. I just, I play alone, you know? And that's just kind of the way I do things. So if you ever see me do group activities, it's only masses because they exist. You know, if they didn't exist, I, I wouldn't even be able to do that. So I just kind of keep a low profile these days. I don't really do a whole lot of group activities or partner things. I just kind of like to do my own thing. And I would say other than that, um, you can expect some things like that maybe in the future, but I just don't have any plans of it right now. I'm a master. What can I say? Say I'm either independent and alone grinding or I'm with the whole community grinding. So big, big shout out to that guy. Early Casey drop once again. But with all that being said, I hope that uh, clears some things up for you guys. And the last thing I want to say is, yes, it's a new year. It, it's another opportunity to get the Inferno Cape. And I look forward to that challenge eventually sometime this year. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, loot from 30 hours of next free for all has been completed. We did 800 kills exactly in 30 hours time and a big thank you to everyone who masked with me. This video would not have been possible without all of you guys in World 505, so a big thank you to all of you. I credit you all with the completion of this video, but unfortunately, no drop this time. Uh, you know, it is what it is, guys. No complaints over here. I had a lot of fun. We saw a ton of drops. I did receive MVP over 70 times in this video. Took about 4,000 volts to complete this, but we are closer to 200 mil range XP now. So let's go price check our loot, and then after that, we'll deduct the cost of supplies and uh yeah then we'll probably open up those elite clue scrolls so bringing everything out from the bank here highlight of this video probably the onyx bolt tip 72 big bones which means we got 72 mvps uh overall supply cost with the potions food and bolts was six mil and the overall loot rounded up looks like it is 16 mil so with the cost of supplies being tracked uh we made about 10 mil profit i could have obtained more elite clues so keep that in mind but we are going to go ahead and open what i did do which which is five elite clues, one medium. Didn't get the ranger boots from the medium, unfortunately. And just opening up these elites, if we get a third age item, that'll save the day, but we did not. One million GP made from the elites. About 15 hours of this grind was uh, 50 to 60 man, and I would say the other 15 hours was 30 to 35 uh, man. Just really varies on what time I was on and how many people were there. But no luck this time around. That just makes me more hopeful for next time, though. Thank you guys for watching the video, and, and thank you to everyone who matched with me. Uh, let's go ahead and show the rune light loot tracker here, and that's about it for now, guys. I did say that I would show you guys what I've been up to on my main and a little bit here at the end of the video, so stay tuned if you are interested in that. But yeah, there's the loot tracker. It only said I killed 756 necks, but I clearly killed 800. Rune light loot tracker is not well, I mean, it is really accurate, but yeah, just didn't track like 44 kills. That's not okay. What if I would have gotten a drop on one of those kills? You guys wouldn't have been able to see it on the tracker. And here we are with the ending. So I felt like doing a little bit of skilling on my main. I was 118 million cooking XP, and I do want cooking to be my first 200 mil. I know that seems impossible since I'm 196 mil range, but maybe if I play enough, I can pull it off. Um, anytime I'm on my Iron Man working on my Barrows to Best in Slot series, I'm always 
always on my main account doing something and I really like the profit with anglerfish right now as well as the XP rates it's incredible so I did do about 10 million cooking XP um, maybe that's 9 million I'm not too sure but it was pretty close to 10 mil then I ended up doing a little bit of fishing got 15 million fishing and 15 million mining XP real quick because I was kind of close um, invested a little bit of time into herblore and ended up with 16 mil I was so close to 25 mil farming that I figured I might as well just pull that off real quick and uh, to finish off crafting I did get 22 mil in that uh, did a little bit of nightmare zone for 65 million defense and attack XP and uh, ended up having to do about 700k agility XP to get 17 million but it was well worth it and it was a lot of fun well I hope you guys enjoy that little skilling recap of what I've been up to in my spare time big thank you to the YouTube channel members with a special shout out to Angel's Blood Deception Z X Exotic X and Necro Fear you guys are amazing thank you for your monthly support and if you want to help benefit the channel even further every download does benefit me directly if you want to go ahead and download today's sponsor Royal Match a huge thank you for them sponsoring today's video and until next time ladies and gentlemen Mr. No Sleep out.